Hello? In this class, we're going to look at how to recall the formulas of project type. In the last video, I taught you how to derive each of the formulas. One thing is to understand something, another thing is to remember. Especially, for instance, if tomorrow is your exam, you might be finding it difficult to recall all the formulas. That is what I want to help you do. Let me give you the secret. You have to understand whatever you are doing 100%. This understanding will help you to know everything, but this understanding might not help you to recall formulas, especially in the course like projector. The other skill you need to know is how to recall. This one is 20% for me. Once you understand it first and know how to recall, you are good to go. I have written many exams in this world, international exams. Here, sometimes I dedicate 50% to it. But this must be 100%. But this one, crummy, you must learn it. So in this class, I will teach you how to recall formulas of what project are. You agree with me that this is projector. This is Y axis and this is what S axis. Okay? This is called the maximum height. H. Here to here is called the range. What are the formulas? If you can remember this picture, the first thing you should tell yourself is you need to deal with time for time. Remember, time is money. Time is the most important thing in this world. Use that one to tell yourself that. In all this formula, I want to remember time is money. Mm -hmm. Now, the first time you must put down is the time to reach this place, time to reach this maximum height. You throw something. How long did it take to reach the maximum height? What would the time take it to get to the maximum height? Time to maximum height. If you can remember this one, this particular formula, forget the rest, is equals to U sine theta over g. You see? This is a formula you should put in your hand. I remember what you need to put first. After this now, is the time to get to this last place. That is the time of flight. Remember, we are dealing with time first because time is money. So, now that you know this one now, to now know the time of flight is just to multiply this one by 2. How? The time it took you to reach here is equal to the time it will take you to reach here. That is the point. So therefore, we multiply this one by 2. You get the point now? Once you are through with the time, the next thing is to look for this maximum height itself. This maximum height. How do you calculate the maximum height? So maximum height... Is equal to t take this formula over g right now you carry two i put on top here you put two on top here you put two here you get the point now we use this one to get this we are using it to get this time of flight remember i already taught you how to derive each of them not through cramming i show you evidence check the previous video before this video now I'm showing you how to get each of the formula to record them. Because we will not have time to start deriving them when you want to solve questions. Okay? Now, the next one is the range. Range is the distance between this and this. To get the range, this guy needs to be shaking. Mm -mm. You need to shake this guy. If I shake this guy, Something will happen. These two, these two you are seeing here. If you want to fall, it will hang here. It will hang. It will hang. Because I shook it now, the two will hang here. That means the two cannot fall. It don't hang. Bad economy. It won't kill himself. So therefore, even if I shake it, this will still be here. But as you can see here, I'm talking about this end. And two, this place is slippery. Unlike here, that is not slippery. There is hook. There is no hook here. So it means that these two will fall. Become sine 
two theta. If I shake this with this two not four, the two will fall away to the bottomless pit. That is all. This is how to recall this formula. For me, in exam, I will write blah, 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 blah. for any question in projector, you use this formula. One thing is to understand the formula, another thing is to know how to use the formulas. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you in projector different questions.